in Asia. I'm here with uh, Bill Thomas to do a quick interview. Uh, Bill, thanks for coming out with us today and just ask you a few short questions and a few fan questions at the end. Sort of you. Yeah, perfect. So, I mean, last season you played the DEL and Liga. I mean, they're pretty good leagues. Yeah. So you're coming over to Asia now. I mean, what's been the major difference for you kind of play-wise that you've noticed so far? Uh, definitely a different style of play here. Um, it's quick. Obviously, the Japanese teams we've been playing are pretty fast. This Nippon team we played yesterday and expect today, same thing, but uh, a little more pace to the games, uh, which is a little different. Sweden and Finland, they like to hold on to the puck and kind of play a strategic style, but uh, um, I kind of like the openness of the, the, and the speed of this style, which is kind of fit for me pretty well so far. Have you had to adapt your own game much now to kind of cater to this league? I mean, you probably have your own style back from playing in North America, but I was just saying a lot of smaller guys, but they're a lot faster. So have you had to like readjust your style of play to fit in with the league? Yeah, I definitely have. Uh, adjusting definitely to size and, and things like that. You can kind of catch yourself uh, taking penalties against some of the smaller guys or, or trying to keep up to them and using your stick. And so, and even just trying to find places in the zone and in the D zone to make good plays to get the puck out. And so it's definitely had to adjust a little bit. Um, we're living in Korea now, you and your wife are here. I mean, how are you finding that so far? I mean, it's probably a big change from Europe and everything. So how are you guys getting on here in Korea? Uh, we're getting on, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> definitely a different style. Obviously, we were fortunate. We spent five years in Europe. I think we, we almost thought we had that figured out. And then we just move up again and <laughs> we come to Asia, which uh, is a learning experience, just a different culture, uh, something that we were... Maybe I was looking forward to, maybe not her as much, but uh, it's definitely been an eye-opening experience and, you know, grateful for it. Hockey's been able to give me this opportunity, which, you know, I couldn't, you know, I wouldn't trade for anything. Did you, um, did you talk to any players in the league or former players before you came here to get some advice? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Matt Murley uh, with Dime Young, he uh, played with him a couple years, and uh, he told me he loved it out here, and he said, definitely come. Uh, a guy, Jeff Ovecchio, was playing in Japan. Uh, he, he absolutely loved it. He played two years, and uh, he said this is a great league, and he told me the same thing, sign the contract and come. So uh, I didn't have anybody tell me anything negative, and so that obviously was, it was important for me and pushed me to come out here. That's good. Um, I suppose you're on a bit of a streak right now. You've about well, 10 games, you've hit nine goals and two assists. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you're pushing over a point a game. So you think you can keep that going? I'm hoping so. Uh, obviously, my line mates helped with the nine goals early on. <laughs> uh, I was getting a lot of great passes. Team was playing really well. Obviously, we're sitting at the top of the table right now. Goaltending has been great. And so uh, I think, you know, if the team keeps playing well, keeps winning, uh, individual guys like myself and other, uh, other players, you know, get rewarded with the points and uh, makes us look good. Team looks good. That's good. Um, I suppose over the years, so you've played in the NHL, you've played in the highest level, and you've played with some great players. I mean, you played with Shane Doan, Malkin, Crosby. But who is your favorite player to play with? Not necessarily the best, but who is your favorite guy to be with, I suppose, ever, anywhere? Favorite player everywhere. <laughs> I mean, could we catch anywhere? Who's your favorite guy to play with on the ice? Oh, boy, good question. Kind of caught me off guard here. <laughs> um, <sighs> Keith Yandel was a good guy. He was my roommate my first year. I still keep track of him. He's... He's a funny character. Uh, I still get a kick out of him thinking about him, just seeing him on TV, and just what a great guy he is. He's got a good family. Um, a guy, Darcy Hortachuk, was a funny guy. I was line mates with him uh, in Florida. He, he, was, he was classic. He, had a, he made a lot of <laughs> plays and stuff for us to run. We were fourth line. I'm like, can we just not get scored on? <laughs> and so, um, it's kind of hard, obviously. I've been playing with <laughs> so many guys, but those guys come to, they remind me, they, they, you know, they put a smile on my face when I see them on TV and kind of remember the stories and just listening to them talk. And <laughs> <laughs> well, even bringing it back closer to home, who's your favorite guy in the ice now to play with at the minute on your second line? I mean, who do you want? Oh, uh, who do you want to feed passes or take passes from? Oh, Minho's a great player. Obviously, you got to play with Jiggy too right now, but Minho's a great player. He sees the ice really well, and, you know, he was instrumental in obviously giving me a lot of assists for those goals to start <laughs> off right now. So uh, I think he's a great player. Obviously, I had fortunate enough to have been practicing with him from day one, so we've been able to build a lot of chemistry, so it's been very good. Um, so one thing most of us have been wondering all season is um, why does your shirt say Bill and not Thomas? <laughs> I asked the guys, uh, I, I, yeah, I, won't, I won't lie to you, it was tough to learn names and so when we started playing and then everyone, I, was, I asked Alex, I said, I said, is this everyone's first name on the jersey? He said, yeah. I go, this helps me out a lot. Well, you here have now. to, yeah, because everyone has to be Park and Lee, everyone. Yeah, so. <laughs> so that's what he goes. And so I asked our, our, uh, our, our manager, and I go, so what's the deal? Cause, and he said, well, everyone puts their first name, because most guys have the same last name. I yeah. said, well, you know what? If everyone's putting their first name, I said, I'll put my first name. I said, so the guys liked it, I think, maybe. But <laughs> it's been hot. So it works <laughs> for the Koreans it. as well. It's just one syllable. It makes yeah. it easier for them. <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> 
Um, a couple of fan questions here. So yeah. from Ryan Stevenson. He wants to know, do you touch your heart every day? I, <laughs> I don't know what the slogan means yet. I'm, I'm still learning <laughs> that one. I think we're, we're figuring that out ourselves as a team. Um, for the national anthem? Sure, yeah. Touching my heart. <laughs> um, so from Big Dave O'Flaherty, the king of Ottawa, he wants to know, do you like kimchi? I haven't had it yet. I won't lie to you. I'm not, uh, it, it doesn't appeal to me by looks yet, but I'll get there. It's good. You try it. It's pretty healthy. <laughs> okay. They say it's healthy, but it just look wise, I'm not there yet. I'll get there. And then there. from <laughs> Sang Yoon Lee, he wants to know, what is your favorite thing to do in Korea outside of the rink? Uh, golf, actually. You know what? It's, it's pretty, there's a lot of golf here. You know, there's yeah, golf. there's tons of screen golf. They got these driving ranges everywhere, and they got some of the best golf courses in the world here. So that's definitely what I like to do outside of hockey. That's good, man. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for that, and hopefully you have a good game today and get a few more points on the board. Perfect. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. You'll see me or Big Dave probably on before the games or after the games, so stay tuned in to Hockey in Asia, and we'll talk to you soon.